let's see what you did wrong here. Uh, looks like for H2O, you accidentally entered a zero, not a capital O. That little item there I'm, I'm hovering around is a zero, not an O. So that's the problem. So right here also. This one here, you didn't enter the heat value. Well, you get the heat value from the information in the equation. And up here they say there's 0.669 kilocalories absorbed for each mole of carbon monoxide. The fact that it's absorbed means that the heat term goes on the left side of the arrow. So it's an endothermic reaction. And it is exactly 0.669 because for each mole of carbon monoxide, that's how much heat is absorbed. So in the balanced equation, there is only one mole of CO. So if there's one mole of CO in the balanced equation, the amount of heat absorbed, therefore, is 0.669. This one here, all of the formulas are correct, except you did not place the heat term in the correct location. So the problem reads, um, 95.6 kilocalories are evolved. Evolved meaning liberated, came about, um, for each mole of iron. Well, the heat term goes on the right side of the arrow if heat is evolved or created, let's say. So that's the first step in this process is to determine where the heat term goes and it's on the right side. So that's a problem with your location. The other problem besides the location of where you put the heat is the value you entered. For each mole of iron, uh, 95.6 kilocalories are evolved. Well, in the balanced equation, there are two moles of iron. So if the proportion is one mole for every 95.6, but in this case, we actually have two moles in the balanced equation, you need to double up the heat value. So it becomes 191. And of course, it goes on the right side of the arrow. In this particular problem, you uh, did not balance the equation correctly, and then again, you did not place the heat term in the correct location. Your formulas are correct, but the coefficient in front of the oxygen here is not correct. It should be a 7. And then the coefficient in front of the carbon dioxide should be a 4. The problem reads, again, 342 kilocalories are evolved, meaning it's liberated, given off. So the heat term goes on the right side. And now we have to determine the proportion of heat to a particular reactant or product. And here they tell us 342 kilocalories are evolved or given off for each mole of C2H6. In the balanced chemical equation, there are two moles of C2H6. So that means you need to double the amount of heat given off. And so the correct answer is 684. In this one, you have some formulas entered incorrectly. The iodine, although it looks like it appears correct, you actually entered an L uh, instead of a capital I. I'm going to just type in an I, capital I. You see how that looks different than an L? It looks like you typed in an L instead of an I, so that's the problem there. Um, same thing on the right side. This right here should be a I in front of the C. Okay, you typed in an L again, so that was detail with the letters. Now with regard to the heat, um, 6.41 kilocalories evolve. Again, that's heat given off or liberated. 
So that heat term goes on the right side of the arrow, and the proportion is for each mole of I2, 6.41 kilocalories are given off. So in the balanced equation, there is only one mole of I2, so the heat value is 6.41.